Hey, collective. What's going on? How y'all doing? What's up? Here I am. You already know, right? Because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm such a silly girl. Yeah. Hey, child. It feels good to laugh. I don't know about y'all, and it sure feels good when the sun is shining. Yeah, can you tell? <laughs> that I'm happy to. Mmm. I think somebody's asking me about these cards. I don't know about this. This the deck. This is the deck. Oh, okay, yeah, let's rock with this today. Let's rock with this. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. How y'all doing? What time is it? Almost lunchtime, so you'll probably be getting this right about lunchtime. This will be your lunchtime break. Your, your lunchtime reading. Yeah, let's call it a lunchtime reading. Spirit, what's this message? What you need to know, Spirit. Today is April 15th. Last day for taxes. Uh, okay, Starkeeper Cosmic Ancestor. See the light by staying grounded. So you're being called to stay grounded. Stay on your path. Do not be distracted by other people's antics. Because that's all it is, is to, to get you to engage in their in their vibration. Don't do it. That's the goal to take you out of your vibration. We have lost land, soul memories, and gifts. You've done this before. So this ain't your first rodeo. <laughs> this ain't your first rodeo. Mm -mm. You have, a, you have a, a lot of spiritual gifts. And you have cosmic ancestors too. So they're like, you know... Continue to see the light, which means continue to invest in the light, okay, and stay grounded. Don't don't see negative seeds. Don't allow people to get into your energy so that you're creating and planting negative seeds, negative energy. You feeling me? Because that negative energy can do it, but choke out your get, you choke out your seeds, your plants that are growing in your life. Whatever you have growing, don't want to do that. That's what people want you to do. They want you to take you off your path to uh, be a distraction. <sighs> there, oh yeah, him. We got weight of the world. Look at this. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Wow, that's right. How other people feel it is not your baggage to carry. Don't take on their feelings and their energy because that's what's projection. That's what's called projecting. People might say some mean and nasty shit to you, right? Listen, that's how they feel. You got to understand, don't take it personal. That's how they feel. That that's their energy leaking, and they're projecting it towards you. They want you to engage. They want you to pick it up. You hear me? What's this? Star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. I can't make it up. You already know because you've done this before. You've already been through that trial, that testing of the spirit of that familiar. That's a familiar spirit to you. You already recognize it. Recognize it for what it is. Don't take it personal and, and, and understand, right, with the, with the empathy that you have, right, that that's coming from a hurt place. Somebody's hurting. And actually, it could be a cry for help. You know, I'm just saying it in a certain way, it really is. You know what I'm saying? Somebody needs guidance and direction and to be able to go inward and... and um, to not project their pain onto other people, but address that pain. You know? What else we got here, Spirit? Hidden secret, secrets, lost wisdom. Look a little deeper. And with this hidden secrets, this is this is whatever you've overcome. It's not that you, you've done this before. You know how to do this. This is not your first time coming to earth doing this. I don't want to get too deep into all of that. <laughs> But and then you got you got cosmic ancestors, you know what I'm saying, that 
are are bestowing on you knowledge and information. Those are the hidden secrets. When you recognize uh, people's behaviors, when you recognize that familiar spirit, that's a hidden secret. A lot of people don't can't see that. A lot of people are in their emotions. They don't have their emotions in check. And and even if we do have feelings, recognize it for what it is. It's a feeling. It's not fact. It triggers something in you. It makes you uncomfortable, but you don't have to react. Recognize what is what what that spirit came to do. That spirit came to make you uncomfortable. Come on, spirit. To make you doubt what you already know. That's a spirit of envy. Um, definitely, if somebody's attacking you, they're definitely looking outside of themselves for something. Because within... They're not dealing with whatever they're dealing with very well. So they're attacking other people. They're trying to pull somebody in to help them carry it. Ooh, we. Come on, spirit. They pull, they're trying to pull people in to help them carry their baggage. Mm-hmm. Mm. The great severing. Mass energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Wow. The great severing. Cutting people off, man. Listen, listen. People need to admit how they feel. They need to talk about how they feel instead of trying to get other people to help them carry it. And how do they do that? They 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 get people to come on board with them on a hate train or you know, to attack people. But what they're really doing is having people help them carry that bullshit. Can you help me carry this bullshit and help me go over here and throw this shit on somebody? Basically, right? Mass energy, anger, conflict. There's a lot of people that are angry right now. There's a lot of conflict going on. Then I talk about the birds fighting. That's a lot of conflict. See, you can learn a lot from nature. Because nature's going to react before we do. The nature, the animals will know shit before we do. Because they're very sensitive. They're highly sensitive to their surroundings. The Seven Star Sisters, Birth and Creation, Tapestry of Life, Expression. And what else we got here? Earth, learning how to be human in the world, in the world, but not of it. Come on now. I told you this ain't your first time. Mm -mm. Learning how to be human. Not only learning how to be human, right? Because we're flawed, right? But also having to try to teach, to change the vibration of humanity so that we stop hurting each other. When we realize we're here to co-create and to build something that everybody can enjoy. You know, why should anybody be left out of anything in a world that God gave us with plenty? But that's our selfish nature. To have to fight and, and struggle and kick and scream to get just a little more than somebody else. Dude, it's, it's supposed to be for everybody. Whatever. Come on. Birth and creations. Changing destiny. For a lot of people, you know, and I'm not saying changing the outcome that God had already has for you, you know, because hmm, let me, get out of God's business. Thank you, spirit. Leave it alone because it's too, it's way past my thought process. You know, when I try to think of it and it's like, well, I'll say, oh, okay, I get it. Then it's like, no, you don't. You how could you know you don't. That's not the plan. No, it's, it's way deeper than what you think. So I leave what God's business to God. You hear me? Mm -hmm. But everything is for our good. 
And we all are being used. We all are. One way or the other. If we ain't being used as a lesson, we're being used as a blessing. Thank you, Spirit. Lifting the veil. Come on, Spirit. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Excuse me. Questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Anything unaligned. Anything that's not for your highest good must go. Anything. Anybody. What else we got here? Let me shuffle these. Questioning everything. Mm -mm -mm. Anything unaligned must go. When you're questioning everything, it's like, is this for my highest good? Is this for the for the good of everybody around me? Am I leading people to enlightenment and elevation? Or am I leading people down the wrong path to their demise? Either way, you're going to pay. You're going to be blessed. Or you're going to get a lesson. Spirit, what's this message? And if you're lifting the veil, if you're pulling people out of darkness, if you're trying to guide people in an in a elevated um, direction, in a more higher level thinking, acting, speaking, then you're, uh, you're lifting a veil. You're opening people's eyes to a, a different perspective, a higher perspective. Everything ain't about what I want, what I want, what I can get, and who I can get it from. It ain't, it ain't even that. Because at some point you're going to learn that shit is not fulfilling you. When you get it, what spirits say, it's not the fact that you think about the sin, but once you think about the sin and then you go get it, that's when it sets in. That's when the realization comes, damn, this don't even, it's just not enough. And it never will be. Because it's not meant for our spiritual health. To have outside things. Outside things will die away. Outside things will get burned up. Outside things will get washed away. Outside things will die. It will be stolen. It can get lost. And if you lose something that you hold on so dearly, what's going to happen? You're going to feel like you you were lost. You're going to be just devastated, right? You ain't going to know how to think, how to move, how to do nothing. It's because you got you, you're idolizing the wrong shit. You got to idolize the one that makes you breathe every day. That car don't bring you breath, life. I'm just saying. Sight. Speech, your body organs and everything in, in good health. Matter of fact, it'll bring along a lot of stress and anxiety and fear, fear of losing. Child, please. Spread us this message. Okay, we have Star Brothers, Horus Energy. You got the Star, you got the Seven Star Sisters and the Star Brothers. This is for both male and female. We need to step up. Okay, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. This is telling me, brothers, you guys are supposed to be protecting us. While we do the work that we do. And that's nurturing and growing. Reproducing, healing. That's our job. Your job is to protect us. To keep us safe in a nurturing environment. So that we can do our part and you do your part. To, to make sure that we have the stability and an environment to do it in. We lost. We're all by ourselves. There's, a, there's way too many... Uh, single parents out here. Hmm. I don't even want to get into the rest of it. Deep cellular healing. Ooh, come on now. Arcturus energy. Physical and emotional healing. Listen, we got to heal. Look at this. We're, we're the mother and the father now. We're trying to instill... Um, 
we're trying to instill in our young men bravery and courage and loyalty when we don't have it. Where are we going to get it from? We're not men. What these young boys are seeing is a bunch of strong ass women, and then they they turn out they want to be they they're acting at I like who they idol, and that's their mamas. They want to be like their mamas, the strong one. They only want to be like their fathers. I'm talking about in every aspect of of you know what I'm saying. Come on now, spirit, what's this message? This, this healing has to come from within, for real. And this is going to have to be passed down for generations. And it starts with us. And we have to have the courage to do it, to break those cycles. So that at least a little bit of seep in, they'll have a little something, then a little more seep in on the next generation. You know what I mean? So we can clean it up. It's all wrong. It's going in the wrong direction. Spirit, what's this message? This we have portal doors are opening. You decide rewards wild card. Ooh we wild card. That's giving me the energy of somebody getting a, getting one more shot, one more chance. The doors are opening. You're at a crossroads once again because maybe you didn't have enough information to make a a, a discerning decision about. Where you want to go in life, how you want your life, what you want it to look like, not just for yourself, but for your kids and your kids' kids, for your community. Because y'all see where we're going. Anyway, doors are opening. You decide. Wild card. Hmm. And huh, you get a choice. You get to choose, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, okay, because I've already, you know, created, you know, some things in my life that, you know, I can't let go, you know, that, that'll always be a part of my life. I ain't saying you got to carry it now. This is going to be a memory. That's it. Leave it where it's at. You don't have to carry the emotions attached to it. Okay. And it's like you get a chance to wipe the slate clean where you don't even have to carry that. If you don't want to, if you, unless you're going to put it in your toolbox, but not as baggage to go and live and, and create something new for yourself. You know what I'm saying? To at least put in a little bit of effort so that put in a little bit of work I'm hearing so that the next generation can pick up. You know what I mean? But if they ain't got nothing, when you leave and they ain't got nothing, what you think going to happen? It's going to continue to go in the wrong direction. It's us, the ones that are conscious of what's really happening. We see it. And there's a lot of us that see it and we're scared. Because we don't want to be um, pointed out as weird and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Hmm. That's because we're not conforming. That's why we're weird. <laughs> Spare us this message. What we got here? All paths lead home. I can't make it up. Didn't I tell you? Somebody's getting a fresh slate. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. It's up to you. You decide. Let's see. You are not for everyone. Come. You are not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Look at that, y'all. Embrace your weirdness. <laughs> Face your true north. Wow. Child, please. All right, y'all. That's your message. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm all set. <laughs> all right, peace.